Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Citrus Connect. For those of you who don't know, my name is Lena Palmer. I am the founder of Citrus Connect Recruitment. I founded Citrus Connect in 2009 when I saw a gap in the recruitment marketplace for the recruitment of self-employed direct sales professionals. And so many years later, we recruit for all types of sales roles um, today, including self-employed and employed. And today I have the honor and the opportunity to sit down with Jonathan Norton, who is one of the divisional sales managers with one of our clients, Hammond's Fitted Furniture. Now, I've been working with Johnny, recruiting for his self-employed sales designers for the last seven to eight years. And I can really say that Johnny leads with passion, honor, and integrity when it comes to leading his team. And he doesn't manage, he truly, truly leads. And he really cultivates and fosters an environment where each and every member feels valued and empowered. So welcome, Johnny, to Citrus Connect. Thank you for spending some time with us today. Really want to no, I really want to delve into um, your philosophy around your leadership and your team, because um, we have so many questions from a lot of our candidates about the sales designer opportunity with Hammonds. And I really want to shed some light on some of their questions, because our answer to them is normally well, you'll find out at interview. So I just wanted to create a platform and an opportunity for their questions to get answered. But before we delve into that, I find your story fascinating. Um, so tell our audience a little bit about yourself, your journey before and your journey at Hammonds. Okay, so thanks, Lena. Thank you for that introduction. Um, so I am coming up to my uh, decade with Hammonds in March next year. So I've been with Hammonds for quite some time. My career before that was mainly leisure and tourism based. Um, so I was a resort manager for Thompson First Choice. I uh, managed a group of leisure centres in London um, that were managed on behalf of the um, the local authority for a number of years so my career has really started that but it's always entailed some degree of sales because all of those businesses have focused on the selling aspect um when i came back from working abroad i saw the opportunity with hammonds so i started as a designer for hammonds um, and quickly progressed to management because that's where i wanted to be um, and here we are 10 years later um had a successful career uh, have grown the business massively in the southeast every year that we've been here and that is through um the help of you and the talent that's coming through is helping us grow and and keeping and maintaining that level because we are growing significantly and there's significant growth coming forward so to be able to make sure we've got the right people in the right places is how i can create that journey forward yeah and you've been um, the top, one of the top divisional sales managers many times um, with Hammonds. So what is it about your team? What is it about your leadership that, you know, you've been able to achieve that success? So I guess my approach to self-employed direct sales is I treat everyone as I would want to be treated. And I treat it, it's not you're not working for me. We're working together to achieve yeah. a common goal. You know what I mean? The the way that I see it is you are effectively running a small franchise and this is your franchise and I am your mentor and support throughout throughout that journey. Um, yeah. I want to make sure that you are as successful as you can be throughout your entire time. And the, the same applies to everyone that joins me, whether you're available three or four slots a week or 18 slots a week, the same methodology applies i want everyone to be immersed in it everyone's mm. situation is different everyone's earning need is different so yeah. i want to make sure that everyone has the same opportunity to earn the best level of income they can yeah. without having to sacrifice their entire life to do it you know what yeah. I mean? it's, my view is if you can convert better and you can go convert higher actually you have to sit less appointments yeah and earn the same level of income, which is why I've always stuck with Hammond. I mean, in terms of a self-employed direct sales position, I don't think there's any other um, company out there that can offer the level of conversion that Hammond's can. Yeah. I mean, we could, I easily see, I mean, 50% of my team are over 50% conversion. So to be wow. able to go in and convert one in two appointments, yeah. there is nobody that compares to that. 
Yeah, absolutely. So what can you explain in a really simple way what the sales designer role is? So the role as a sales designer, you are um, effectively home-based. So you yeah. work from home and you cover a, uh, appointments within a 50-mile radius, I say an hour, because 50 miles going into London doesn't really work, but an hour does, because an hour could be 10 miles in London, but could be 60 miles outside of London. So I like to keep it as broad. And um, that said, there's flexibility to go further if you wanted to, to maintain the level of work that you wanted. Um, you are attending customers' homes at pre-set times. So we do set appointment times are 11, 3, 7 o'clock, Monday mm -hmm. to Friday, 10, 1, 4, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And your job is to go in to these customers who are all hot, by the way, that we don't cold call anyone. They're either, they've either requested a brochure and we've booked them in for an appointment, they've booked directly on the website or they've booked from a showroom. Yep. So they're all ready they all know what they want they all are ready to buy furniture if you can give them the right process yeah. so you're going to discuss with them their needs their wants you're going to make sure that you understand exactly what it is they're looking for you're going to discuss ranges styles colors handles with them you're going to measure up the room whilst you're with them you're going to complete a design on our Artica package, which we provide for you on, on a laptop that you provide, and, and you will then design that with the customer. And that's mm -hmm. the most important thing. You are designing a room with the customer because it's the customer that's using it. So yeah. the more involvement that they have in that process, the less they can say no to, because yeah. they can never say, I don't like a design that I've created myself. It just doesn't <laughs> work. You know what I mean? So they can really you harness that, and then you take them through the entire process, you price it up for them, you then talk them through the finance options and you're able to close the deal there and then with as many customers as you can, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not all customers buy on the first visit, but a lot, if you are good at your approach, a lot can and will because all they're looking for, customers don't want to go through this process all the time. Based on our um, appointment times, you can see that the average time of appointment is between two and three hours. Yeah. And then we have an hour's traveling time so customers don't want to do that three or four times to get the amount of quotes that sometimes they would need if you can deliver the service they want yeah the design they want at a price they can afford yeah then actually the logical decision is well let's buy Hammonds yeah absolutely and I want to really touch upon this transformative piece um of the Hammonds philosophy because it's really about creating order in the home, isn't it? So it's not just fitted furniture. It, it's, it goes so much beyond that. So can you speak to that a little bit as well, Johnny? Yeah, so I think you can see a lot of that from the marketing that we put out. Our marketing is, is very different to other um, product suppliers. When we take a picture of our spaces, it is the whole space. So it's yeah. how the whole space makes you feel yeah. rather than just the use of the furniture. and. Yeah. I can speak with experience based on the wardrobes I've got to my right here, <laughs> the how um, fitted furniture makes you feel and how it does bring order to your home is massive. And yeah. until you have fitted furniture, you can't really appreciate that level. Yeah. And, and one of the questions that I was asked when I first joined was ask your customer how this is going to make them feel. And I couldn't get my head around it. Couldn't yeah. get my head around how you can ask somebody that when it's only furniture but actually yeah. you think about it logically and yeah. you think actually that's a really good question to ask because yeah. if you can establish because people buy on feelings you know what I mean it's, yeah. a, it's a feelings industry sales yeah. and you can harness the feelings of what it's gonna how much better it's going to make their life either I mean their dining room furniture it could be everything's sorted in a way their bedroom furniture everything's got a place and a purpose it could save them half an hour in terms of getting ready in the morning yeah yeah that is a huge investment in that piece of furniture that's yeah. going to supply such a different feeling of just a morning routine you know yeah. what I mean it's just it, there's nothing else I believe that you can sell that generates that level of feelings and emotion yeah. into it I mean bedrooms home offices lounges is very intimate you're in somebody's home it's an intimate place and um, especially with bedrooms that the they aren't bought 
for anyone else other than the end user. Yeah. Other than the customer, nobody else is going to see it. You don't often invite people up to your bedroom yeah. um, to show them the furniture. So it's all about how you feel and how yeah. it uh, works for you. So I think it's just a really, it's a real nice selling opportunity to sell something that's so beautiful, but also can really change the lives of our customers. Absolutely. And not it's talking about problem solving as well, you've introduced a new under the stairs product range as well, haven't you? Yeah. Which again solves another problem. Yeah. So our goal as a business is to go, I mean, when I first joined Hammonds, we were very much bedrooms, home offices. Okay. We did had a separate business for kitchens. Since I've been with the business, we have grown to whole home. And that's our goal is that we can wow. fit furniture into any part of the home. So yeah. you as a sales designer have a real good opportunity to upsell. Yeah. Because you might be only going to look at a dining room, a living room, a bedroom, but yeah. actually, what can we do in the intensive room? What can we do under your stairs? What can we do in this room? What can we do in this room? You know what yeah. I mean? And in terms of repeat custom, yeah. you can get so many more orders further down the line because they just, they are sold on the Hammond's way. And as we yeah. introduce more and more product, it's really going to uh, set us apart from everyone else. Absolutely. So we've talked a lot about the customer um, and, and what they get from the Hammond's products. Can you now talk to us a little bit about the culture? You know, I always say the one thing that I say to all my clients is your first customer is your sales team. So, yeah. um, and I firmly, firmly believe that. So can you talk a little bit about the culture um, within the within the sales team at Hammond and indeed your team as well? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I think with any self-employed direct sales role, you, you have a... Uh, an opportunity to create a real team um, mm -hmm. and I think that's that's where some businesses fail is that it's quite a lonely role and they yeah. just sort of you're self-employed you're obviously self-motivated crack on and do it yourself and yeah. that isn't us with Hammonds I would probably say that we are the most supportive business in terms of supporting our team yeah. get the best out of their business and um, we are very people orientated whether you're employed or self-employed yeah. our goal is to look after our people and you can see that really within the team I've got um 60 percent of the team that I've got have been with the business for more than 10 years wow and I don't think that there is I've, I've never known any other direct sales company that has that level of loyalty to the yeah. brand yeah and um, I, I love to see to be honest because I think it really it really shows the quality of the brand and the quality of the business that you're working for. It's very much still family owned. And it's very much that we are together as one. We're all after the same common goal and yeah. we all help each other get there. And the same from the team members individually. Sometimes you can see that um, self-employed direct sales are, are more lone wolves and not really that they, they are fearful of helping their effectively their competition. Yeah. But you don't have that in Hammonds. No. People happily take you out under their wings show you what they do show you what they can uh, how they approach things others might come ask to come out with you if you're doing really well and it's just about sharing best practice because actually there's plenty of leads to go around and if you can make a bit more money from converting better then everyone is better off because everyone's trying to serve the business because as long as the business succeeds we all succeed yeah perfect well, thank you for that. We will continue this conversation on the next email.